What's up everyone, 3D Print 747 here, back again with another video. I'm printing my Batman cowl over again. Uh, when I printed it last time in TPU, I used my Anycubic Cobra Max, and it was kind of sloppy, and the supports were kind of on too tight, so they didn't come off clean, and kind of just looked like garbage in my opinion. Um, so I'm redoing it again on the P1P here. And I gotta say, I'm really impressed with how this looks. I mean, just the quality and the cleanness of this print um, using TPU, the default settings, uh, works great. Um, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done and I'll compare it to the other one that I printed probably about eight months ago. Um, I've also learned a lot since then. Um, but yeah, I'm real impressed. I'm looking forward to this uh, coming off the printer to see how it finishes up. Um, I did a 40% infill and the tree supports um, I painted on manually because I didn't want them uh, in the middle of the mask or helmet um, going to the top. There's no need for that. The inside doesn't clean, doesn't finish cleanly, but the outside should be fine, which is all we really care about, right? So that saves some uh, filament there. Um, so yeah, I mean, the stitching, I mean, it just it looks really, really good. So let me go ahead and let this finish. It's been on since probably five or six o'clock last night. It is one o'clock in the afternoon now. So let it go for probably till about 11 tonight, maybe it'll be finished, we'll see. But um, I'll send this out once everything's finished. So this is how the Batman cowl turned out. Um, I'm really happy with it. The supports just peel right off. Of course, it's hard to do now that I'm... Inside. That's why they were tough on this area. Yep. So they peel right off. I mean, super easy. Couldn't be easier without leaving any kind of a mark on the mask. Let's loop around there. Look at that. It's peeled right off. That is a beautiful print. Really nice, super nice. Like I was telling you, the inside doesn't matter. No one's gonna see it. The outside looked like that. You can use adaptive layer height to get rid of the ringing up there. Um, I used 0.12 layer height. I should have gone adaptive and it would have reduced that, but I didn't really care. Um, but yeah, I mean, that looks amazing. I'll show you the other one uh, in the next video. I'll get it out and uh, compare the two, but I'm super stoked with this. Awesome. Here's the old mask. You can see shiny spots on it. Um, the printer kind of blobbed up again. This was an Anycubic Cobra Max. And I was kind of new to 3D printing, so I didn't really know a whole lot. Look at the back here. Um, everything else was clean over here and then all of a sudden the back over here looks kind of like garbage and you wonder why that is you know um, if you compare this to the one that I just printed on my bamboo you can't even see the seams here the, the needle point that you can see on the one on the bamboo um, and you can see how this isn't really clean because the supports stuck that was my fault because I didn't really know a lot about supports back then and how to remove them. But like even the nose just doesn't look good. Um, it's just not something that I would be proud of. The top just even, look how that is. So yeah, so come a long way. Here's the old, and 
there's the new. And it's night and day difference. Look at that. You can even see the seams up on the top left there. How nice they look, the thread. And you can't even tell what that is on this one. So yeah, real happy with these printers. Three D print seven four seven. I'm out of here.